systems uh, are able to prevent any corruption. We are determined that every instance of alleged corruption must be thoroughly investigated. To steal from the people is purely criminal. But to steal from the people during a pandemic is a crime against humanity. the full view here on SABC News Channel. This final hour focusing on some of the international developments, including a judicial decision expected on the use of TikTok in the United States. And of course, uh, we'll try once again to look at uh, maritime rights still under the spotlight in the eastern parts and central parts of Africa. Let's start with the news headlines. A United States federal judge is set to decide on whether or not to block a Trump administration order banning Apple and Google from offering TikTok for download. Bahata Bahafela's new leadership announced new plans after a royal feud that caused tensions. The defense minister won't get his salary for three months as punishment for using state resources to transport ANC officials to Zimbabwe. Which story stood out for you this week? This is the question we've been asking. You will look at uh, your tweets uh, and uh, voice messages in just a moment. But uh, keep the conversation going on plus two seven double six four seven nine eight zero five six. Remember, you can get any of our interviews or features by simply going to sabcnews.com. A U.S. judge in Washington says he plans to decide later today whether to block a Trump administration order banning Apple and Google from offering Chinese-owned short video sharing app TikTok for download. U.S. District Judge Carl Nichols made the announcement after a 90-minute hearing. The Commerce Department's TikTok app store ban is set to take effect at midnight U.S. time. A lawyer for TikTok argued during the hearing that the ban was unprecedented and irrational. U.S. officials have expressed concern that personal data collected on 100 million Americans who use the TikTok app could be obtained by China's Communist Party government. Here at home, the mineral-rich Bahatla Bahafela celebrated Heritage Month for the first time with new leadership. It follows the removal of Chief Nyalala Pilani. The interim Hosi Ramono Lindri Pilani has addressed the Bahatla nation on his immediate plans and future plans. The address took place with a dark cloud hanging over the rich nation as some who are in support of the ousted Hosi Nyalala Pilani are opposing the appointment of a new chief. New beginnings for the mineral-rich Bakatlaba Kafela with its first heritage celebrations under new leadership. Ramon Olinjipilani was appointed an interim Kosi by the provincial government earlier in July for a period of six months. Linjipilani's appointment follows recommendations by the Traditional Leadership and Dispute Claims Commission of Enquiry, which investigated the Bakatla chieftaincy and its financial affairs. Following a long battle and divisions among its members, there is hope for stability and development in the area. We have to work together as a tribe, government departments and businesses. We have companies within our community, mines and all. We need to speak to those companies.
The new leadership says this should go hand in hand with accountability following revelations by the Commission of Inquiry that billions of rents belonging to Bakatla are unaccounted for. The appointed administrator Finas Chie has already started his job. I cannot say the monies have been stolen just because the commission says so. I also need to investigate with what we call audit trail and find out how and who stole the money. There are mixed feelings about the new state of affairs. We expect to see transparency. Uh, we hope to see uh, those people who have been stealing our money, our wealth, to be punished. And the only person who can do that, who can take them to court, is the, the, the new horse uh, with the powers invested on him. We can be very, very happy if the money is everything re, uh, uh, from the Moravi, stolen by anybody to be returned to Moravi, any property to be returned to Moravi. But the days ahead will be enlightening as some members of the community who are in support of the oust Kosinyala Lapilani are opposed to a new leader. Bafedile Mwerani, SBC News, Muruleng.